Hello everyone. Welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will try to do 1D simulation with fractional flow and Buckley leverage equation. Okay, we go to tool. Now we select this one, 1D model. All right. But first, we need to open help, content, and let's see about technical overview. And let's see 1D model. All right. You can read from this help section the explanation about 1D model. So as you can see, this tool allows the study of the displacement of oil by water or gas using the fractional flow and Buckley leverage equations. This model does not presuppose any displacement theory. Okay. This is the setup of the equation. And these are the assumptions. The reservoir is rectangular box with an injector well at one end, injection here, and a producer at the other. Okay, so this is the setup. The production and injection wells are considered to be perforated across the entire formation thickness. Okay, perforated across the entire thickness. The injection rate is constant. The fluids are immiscible. The displacement is considered as incompressible, okay. The saturation distribution is uniform across the width of the reservoir. Linear flow lines are assumed even in the vicinity of the wells. And capillary pressures are neglected, okay. As this method is used to model the displacement of oil, this is the only fluid which can be modeled using this tool. Okay. The 1D model has also been extended for simple analytical EOR type studies such as CO2 injection, surfactant and polymer flooding, hot water injection, etc. Okay, so this is the explanation, the technical overview. You can also see user guides and check the 1D model. Okay, you can read technical description, basic one the model, technical background. All right, and we can also open the example guide, one D EOR example. Okay. All right. Now let's perform the simulation. We go to options, reservoir fluid, oil. Injection fluid, we can select either water or gas, but in this case, we will select water. Fluid model type, we will enter fluid properties. Okay. Enhanced oil recovery or EOR type, none. So we will perform base case for now. We will only inject water, but in the next videos, we will cover surfactant and polymer injection hot water and also CO2 injection. Okay, reference date, we can use this one. Okay, you can leave it as it is and also you can also type in user information as per required. Okay, done. And now you can see we cannot input PVT in this selection, but if we select enter fluid model, done we can enter pvt okay but in this case we will only select enter fluid properties done now we go to input okay you can follow my example injection rate 100 stock tank barrel per day start of injection 1st january 2012 okay oil density 50 pounds per cubic foot, oil viscosity 5 centipoise, oil formation volume factor 1.05, reservoir barrel per stock tank barrel, water density 60, water viscosity 1, water formation volume factor 1, okay, and also the reservoir information, the length. 1,000 feet, width, 
100 feet, the height of the reservoir, 50, oil water contact, 50, deep angle, 0. Okay, so it's a horizontal reservoir. Permeability, let's say 100 millidarcies. Porosity in fraction, 0 0.2. Conat water saturation, 0 0.2. Cut-off water cut, let's say 99 in percent. Number of cells, 100. Okay, validate. Now we input the relative permeability information. You can follow my data. relative permeability from Cori functions, but you can also use tables if you have the data. Okay, in this case, we select Cori functions. You can also see the plot, all right? Okay, validate. Now we are ready to do the simulation. It's a one-dimensional simulation. So click this one, run simulation. Okay, first, we can see this is the plot, 1D model. The vertical axis is water saturation in fraction. This is the length of the reservoir between our injector and our producer. Okay. This is the information that has been provided. Injection rate, deep angle of the reservoir, length, width, height of the reservoir, oil water contact, permeability, porosity, and conat water saturation. This is the information for our fluids, viscosity, density, formation volume factor, and also reservoir saturation for water and for oil. Okay, now we can just press calculate. All right, very fast. Okay, very interesting. This is the results. Actual for our present date. Okay. For volume injected, recovery factor, we can achieve 62%. So it's quite high. Water injected, okay, 0 0.39 MMS TB, oil produced and water produced. Okay, this is the results at breakthrough time. So the breakthrough will happen in 29th, June, 2012. Okay, you can see we start the injection at January 1st, 2012. Okay, this is the pore volume injected at breakthrough, water injected at breakthrough, recovery factor at breakthrough is 12.7. Okay, so after breakthrough, we can still achieve high recovery factor because the ultimate recovery factor is 62%. All right, very interesting. And this is the saturation profile. Okay, that's not all. We click this one, finish, calculations, and then see result. Okay, this is the result. Time for volume injected, frontal speed in feet per day, frontal advance in feet, and this is the average oil rate, water cut, cumulative oil produced, cumulative water produced, cumulative water injected, recovery factor, and lastly, water saturation, okay? Let's check again, when is our breakthrough time? It happened in 29th, June, 2012. So let's see. All right. Okay, around this date. Okay, very, very interesting.
Okay. After breakthrough, we can see frontal speed is zero. Frontal advance is 1000 feet, which is the length of our reservoir because the breakthrough has been achieved, right? And let's see the plot. Okay, we can see first for volume injected. Okay, it's linear. Frontal speed. Okay. And then it will stop after breakthrough. Frontal advance. Okay, remove all first. Frontal advance. Okay. So this is the breakthrough time. The frontal advance is 1000 feet. Average oil rate. Okay. Constant before breakthrough and after that declines. Very interesting. This is the cumulative oil production. This is the water cut. Okay. Zero practically before water breakthrough and after that increases sharply and then increase steadily. Okay, very interesting. The cutoff of our water cut is 99%. Cumulative water production. Cumulative water injection. And of course, we are interested in recovery factor. All right. We can achieve 62% of recovery factor. So it's quite high. 62% of recovery factor. But if it's not enough, we can perform enhanced oil recovery with hot water or polymer injection, surfactant injection, or CO2 injection, which we will learn in the next videos. Okay. And also water saturation. Okay. The final water saturation is 70%. And also we can see the trend of water cut with water saturation. So we can construct relationship between water cut and water saturation. All right, that's all. So in this video, we have learned about 1D modeling or 1D simulation with fractional flow, Buckley leverage, and frontal advance analysis. We have performed the simulation with water, so it's like water injection or water flood. And in the next videos, we will try to learn about enhanced oil recovery. We will use hot water, CO2 injection, and also surfactant and polymer injection. All right, see you again. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.